Hello everyone, welcome to another episode about IELTS writing. Today we are going to discuss about conclusions. So what actually is conclusion? Conclusion is actually the last part of your IELTS writing task 2. It's the last thing you're going to write, but the first thing the exam is going to look at. Okay, is that right? And they're going to remember this very well. You know, quite often the examiners, the readers, they will look at the conclusion, they will look at the introduction, and they will want to make sure that they come together. The problems that examiners see are many about conclusions, okay, and such as the relationship. So the relationship between, okay, between the sections, the relationship between the sections of the writing, okay. So as I said before, this is the introduction to the body paragraphs, body paragraphs to conclusion. It's the relationship between the parts and. Because quite often we realize this is the last thing the candidate thinks about, then it, it's also, it doesn't match the other parts. And we're going to show why it should match the other parts. Okay. Also, we find that it may repeat expressions. So if you said an expression or something, some phrase in the introduction or the body paragraphs, then we don't really want to see it again exactly the same way in our conclusion. But candidates, because they often leave it to the last minute, it does repeat, and it really shouldn't. Okay? Other things we see here is that it actually contains, okay, contains new information. So if a conclusion contains new information, then I'm sorry to say it's not a conclusion. It's another, effectively, it's a body paragraph. Okay? It happens too many times, and it's often a sign that the reader, uh, it's often a sign that the writer wasn't really quite sure how to summarize it or how to put it all together. Okay? So, this actually is quite important. Okay? A, the, one of the most important things about a conclusion is that it doesn't contain new things. Okay. It's effectively, it's a mirror. It's conclusions is that either they're too long or maybe too short. Okay. Right. Remember that when you're writing the conclusion or you're writing the body paragraphs or you're writing the introduction, each part of that essay must have a particular reason to be there. Okay. So let's go for A first. Okay, let's change color because I want to have blue. Yep. Right, so we say here, to sum up, which is a nice way to finish, I believe that the influence of supportive and interested parents, children are more likely to achieve academic success. Well, that's true. But it's not a good conclusion because it only focuses... Okay, um, let's say how to say it. Let's say so. so focuses only on one part focuses on let's say one part okay it doesn't focus on the whole essay so one part only okay so this so we need to summarize all ideas this conclusion it only summarizes one and so we can't do this this is not enough okay it doesn't work okay let's go on to B it is clear that both parents and teachers have a huge impact on a child's learning. However, in my view, both supportive and help, both support, positive support and help from the family provide a more significant influence overall. Sentences. So I'll put a line in to actually divide up two sentences. Okay. So that's sentence number one and sentence number two. It's a good conclusion because sentence number one here it actually okay it summarizes summarizes okay the body paragraph ideas and like with the evaluation essay we said before it doesn't give any examples okay no example should come in it just summarizes the ideas again so you take those ideas from the topic sentences sentence number two it says in my view Positive support and help from the family provide a more significant influence overall. Okay, so we have this expression, a more significant influence. So we're saying that 
Yes, it's parents and teachers, but family is more. So this is the thesis statement. But it's not exactly the same as what the thesis statement is. In this particular example, it's actually rephrased. And that matters. Okay. And a good conclusion like this one should have two sentences, where the first sentence can summarize the body paragraph ideas. The second sentence goes back to the thesis statement. And if you remember, that comes from the introduction. So this one, let's give it a good green tick. This is right. So, so into on to C. We say so finally, as teachers are often specifically trained in a range of subjects, the help they give the help they give their students is more appropriate and will likely lead to success. Well, it's a good point. Good point. Teachers are trained in mathematics and physics and chemistry and all these skills, but parents are not. It's a very good point, but this cannot be a conclusion. Firstly, it begins with the word finally. So we say we, we never begin with finally. Because if we begin with the word finally, then it gives us the feeling that this is yet another body paragraph, which is not. Okay. But the major problem here is that it's, it's a new idea. It's something that was never said before in the body paragraphs. So we can't use it. It doesn't matter. But you cannot write something new into your conclusion. Okay, so, as it is a good idea, but unfortunately, from the examiner's point of view, they're going to say, no, this is not a good conclusion. Let's go on to D. Okay, let's go back to our, our lovely colours. Okay, right, so good. Right, so to conclude, on the one hand, supportive and interested parents can help, while on the other, teacher support can be also notably beneficial. Okay, it's true. It is true. Um, it, it shows two sides because I gave the opinion that we do have two sides. It is both teachers and parents. So it does show two sides. But there's a problem here. There's no writer's opinion. And because there are, there's no writer's opinion, again, we can't use it. Okay. A conclusion should have our two parts. The first sentence should summarize the body paragraph ideas. The second sentence should summarize or rephrase your thesis statement, what you said in the introduction. But here it doesn't. So effectively, it's missing. And again, from the examiner's point of view, I'm sorry to say, this one doesn't do very well. Okay, so eh, eh, no, it's not a good conclusion. Which brings us on to the final one. How does this one do? Let's go back to our colours. Right. In conclusion, I believe, oh, sounds good so far, both parents and teachers can have a huge impact on children's learning. That's, that's very good. We've actually said that before we said that. Yeah, 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 sounds good. Sounds good, okay. However, the support given by teachers is more important in the success a child can achieve. Uh-oh. Really? But see a lot of in the arts exam, both the general and the academic in this case. It's, we say here that it contradicts what's been said before. So it contradicts, okay, your introduction. Okay. And also the body paragraph structure. Okay. And so, Okay, to, so to contradict, okay, it means to, to, say, to say something, okay, different, different, okay, to before. Okay, it doesn't mean to say that I like it or I hate it, it means that it doesn't work out, okay. 